The following episode is dedicated to our loyal listeners in Over P. Over, Cheshire, England. Hello. Yes, it's going to be an amazing episode of the Steez. So, so say all of us. <laughs> That's right. Hopefully you enjoy it. Let's hear it. Okay. Make pod go now. Okay. This is more coincidences. <laughs> uh, namesakes. John Caulfield from Manchester wrote to Sunday Express about his Ibiza holiday. <laughs> That's a lot of week. That's a lot of places. You said Caulfield, Ibiza. John, uh, John Caulfield from Manchester oh. wrote to Sunday Express right. in 1984. About Ibiza. About Ibiza, his Ibiza holiday. Mm. It was sick, yeah. man. The DJs were sick there, man. It was so fucking sick. Yeah. He and his wife, Mildred. Mm-hmm. Mildred Caulfield. <laughs> Cor- <laughs> Caulfield. Uh, were given the wrong hotel room which had, in fact, been booked for a Jack and Mildred Caulfield. This is a bloody outrage. Yes, he was John. The other guy was Jack. Wow. So quite different. <laughs> yeah, but, the, you know, the, it's, it's early. It's the 80s. Maybe the phone lines weren't so good. Um, and uh, they a had barrier. also, though, that, that couple had also um, travelled out on the same flight. Okay. Calling Mr. Mildred, John... Jack Caulfield <laughs> uh, And is that the That's the coincidence Oh jeez Yeah Fuck Here's another oh, this, one This book is here We better here's, double here's up Because that one I lost my keys <laughs> Then I went back And they're on the hook What a coincidence Yeah Sure enough Sure enough Yeah that was um, Yeah It's just a quick lacking. one It's just a quick one On with the show And now a reading from Jezbot's Diary, Friday, 28th of January. 1994. 1994. Uh, oh, actually, the day before is just the entry is, fuck, school's getting close. <laughs> oh, uh, it's no tension good. building in the house. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I suppose I should write four pages about the trip, but I can't be stuffed. It was the Wilson's prom trip we just uh, went for a Oh, hike. yeah, okay. Yeah, cool. This diary is a bit of a pain during the holidays, <laughs> but I think when I go back to school... I think I will write in it more. Saw a Zilf at, at around nine uh, tonight. Her parents weren't home, so I went over there and, and spent an hour or two with her. I thought I'd better get out of there before her parents got home. It was really good to see her, and I discovered that if I play with her hair, she goes completely mental. <laughs> cool. She's got to have it. <laughs> went to St Kilda Fest today. Oh, hey. no, just to St Kilda. Oh, just to St Kilda. Must have been... Have been... A, a rollerblading mission. No doubt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would've Bearings, to, um, yeah. wheels. Uh, what was it? What was the shop called? Apache or? Oh, yeah. I well, think it was. Yeah. Could have been. Yeah. Do you uh, ever rollerblade? Uh, all the time. Yeah. It was great. Roll a hockey. Uh, a, roll a boogie. Ever uh, play with your uh, your wife's hair? <laughs> she drives her mad. Drives her mental. <laughs> drives her mental. <laughs> I'm going to try that. Mm. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, it's a hot tip. Hello, you've reached Dal and Emma. This is Brad speaking. Hello, my name's Denise. Well, hello, Denise. Hi, look, this is highly embarrassing, but I've tried to give myself an enema, and it's all gone horribly wrong. I've slipped and fallen in a pool of my own filth. Is there anything you can do? (laughs) Rest assured, Denise, one of our highly trained enema experts is on her way right now. May I ask, Denise, is the front door open for our technician to service you? I'm afraid not, and I can't move an inch on account of the internal-external flooding. Now, don't you worry, Denise. Our technicians are all ex-criminals. No lock is too big or too small. But my fondue party's in 30 minutes. My floors, the guests, my party dress. Relax, Denise. We've got you covered, literally. Our technician is also supplied with two towels, a state-of-the-art 2000 serials model suction pump, and a waterproof poncho. Oh, thank God. Thanks, Dial and Enema. No, thank you, Denise. Dial and Enema in the next 24 hours and receive our latest offer. The new and exclusive pine cone scented enema flush out. You'll be fine, and you'll smell like pine. 
Fred, are you still talking to me? If you need a flush and you're in a rush, dial an enema today. Back in the crawl space. No, it's 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 time for parent teacher interviews. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is great. Uh, I know we indulge ourselves with these old report cards and old stories and stuff, but I think there's something in there. It's hilarious. So we've got the school diary, and this is um, my school diary from, uh, I think it's, I'm not quite sure what the year is. It might mm. be 1987, but it's uh, Tim T from 7G. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I was I kept getting like basically at the end of the uh, term the teacher would write a little uh, synopsis on the you know sure. like a snooze review <laughs> <laughs> basically so I'll just read a couple that I've uh, this is this is all from the same same year yeah in no particular order okay right uh, term three has not been good to Tim <laughs> he has consistently talked in class. And unfortunately, does not seem to see the error of his ways. He sometimes gets angry when told off. Because I don't respond well to uh, authority figures. No. Uh, This is not a good sign. (laughs) It's escalating. Yeah. Wayne Jolary, 7G. That was that month. Mm. And um, let's just see how I fare through the year. Well, I don't respond well to... um, being told off yeah, so threats you know if that's if that's at the start of the year he gives me that then oh, you're coming in fresh as, a, as you've just finished grade six and you've got started a new school and it's supposed to be the first year it's supposed to be a swan song oh it's um it's 1989 okay that okay. checks out yep, yep yep good tim i was very disappointed in your behavior on thursday please write down five reasons why your behavior was irrefutable and dangerous <laughs> <laughs> and have it on my desk before school on Monday. Well, so I, I bet you didn't. I, did. I bet you didn't do it. It was dangerous. Whatever I did, I bet you I did fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I bet you didn't write the apology. Oh no, I, no, exactly. I think there's one referring to my uh, to my homework here. Uh, yeah, Tim did not hand in his science assignment uh, worth twenty five marks, mm. even after two days extension. And an extra week. <laughs> As a consequence, he will receive zero for his mark. Okay. That's a complete fail. Um, after an excellent start to the year, Tim's concentration in class is just beginning to slip. Uh, this is a disappointment, and I hope it will not develop further, Wayne Jolary. It will. It will. Just, it uh, does. Then the, the last one I've got here is, uh, these notes for incomplete homework concern me, Tim. Let's not slip back into old habits. <laughs> this is this is at the end of the year. <laughs> uh, as you are generally working well. Keep it up. <laughs> I'm so glad you'll be out of my class. Because we're nearly fucking done. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to push you through the next sucker. That's right. But, like, you know, come on, 7G. Was there anything from mum? Any notes? Out. Oh, there, there, yeah, look, there were several, uh, please excuse Tim, please, uh, we, we had a smashed windscreen, I think that was one of mm-hmm. her stories here, that's why we were late. He uh, had chronic cold. Yep, that's it, he he's, can be excused, say, for an orthodontic appointment, <laughs> that kind of like. Uh, but there you go, that's an insight to my school cr- yeah. first year of secondary college. And it sort of it was reflect- down, it was, it was down reflected there. that for the it rest of the time. It was down from there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I had gusto in year seven, and then it it was a downhill. Uh, okay, downhill I'd already given up from there. I'd already, I'd already quit. <laughs> yeah, because I was catching Quidditch. your vibe. <laughs> yeah, that's right. School uh, sucks, man. So there you go. Yeah, stay in school, kids. Or, or not. Or not. <laughs> your choice. Go or not. A, go get an apprenticeship. You're going to make more money out of that. Or not. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't do anything. No. Yeah. Do a podcast. No. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> G'day, it's Mickey T here. Today I'm going to grab a microphone, get my mikey, jump on a tram and take you guys into Melbourne town. You really must go for my new segment called Mikin' Around Melbourne. Mikin' Around Melbourne town. I'm going to get my mic and I'm going to take you down to Melbourne. I got the space jump, space jump, oh, oh. All right, you're hearing the sounds of One Spirit African drummers to performing arts and drum school doing their thing
Okay, this is an example of what happens when you give a bunch of teenage girls and dudes some instruments and a whopping big 3,000 watts aside PA on the streets of Brunswick. You're about to hear, I don't know what this band's called, but this is a stage set up in a Dawson Street. Let's get a little closer and see how they sound. Having delusions of grandeur. There's a lot of people watching, but there's a massive, massive swimming pool of space in front of them. Here we go. I'm going to can't be into it. <laughs> You can buy all the expensive guitars and amplifiers and drums that you like. Yes. But there's no guarantees of quality. I don't know. Maybe I'd be too harsh. Oh, man. I thought that they were gone. I, I haven't seen Hare Krishnas for a long, long, long time. But here they, here they are. They're jamming out. Brunswick Music Festival. Sure what they're singing about. Actually, they're better than that last band. They're organising. Uh, I think they're getting more organised. That's frightening. If they can get their shit together, God only knows what's going to happen. Could be good. Oh man, I gotta tell you. There is a reggae DJ stage here, which is pretty cool, but oh my god, the, the PA speakers, the, the front of house speakers are, I can only describe it as fucking ridiculous, they are so enormous, it's like four, these are called W bins, back in the, I reckon the 70s and 80s. You would have one of these and maybe one of the top boxes. But these guys have got four W bins at the bottom for the bottom end. And then two of these enormous speakers for mid-range. And then, jeez, there's four kind of high-mid speakers. And then there's this array of tweeters on the top. It's just ballistic. The closest thing to the brown noise that I've ever experienced. That bottom end that you can hear is like rattling the souvlaki that I had about 20 minutes ago. Uh, I reckon you could stand about 20 minutes on this unless you're on you're on something, I don't know. Eckies. Something, something. Crowd's vibing though, that's good. DJ's working his butt off. The MC is, was just telling us how important it is to, to drink water on a hot day. But he told us tap water. Should be drinking tap water. Uh, good advice. It's hot. Jamming. There is a huge police presence at this little spot, by the way. I can't understand why. What might they be looking for? I don't know. Out of control. It's so loud. I took a photo of those speakers. Uh, perhaps you'd like to put that up for your listeners, boys. Um, on the socials. If you still do that. Does anyone actually maintain that fucking thing? I don't know. Every time I go in there, it looks the same.
Records. This is for Turnstile Records Presents. Mickey T on the scene. Just checking stuff out around Melbourne town. Hopefully you enjoyed a snippet of what was the music festival in Brunswick. You really must go, but not till next year, because it's only one day. And you've missed it. Think about it next year. Getting to know you of the week. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah? It's getting different. to bro you. It's different. Of the week. <laughs> is that such a thing? Um, your wife is out tonight and you're cooking dinner for yourself. Oh, yeah, this is true, yeah. Uh, what happens when um, the chef is out? I panic. <laughs> <laughs> I burn toast. No. Uh, there'll be some uh, leftover chicken okay. that I'll, I'll hate, reheat. Okay. Can uh, you manage that? I think so. Don't do it under new, the grill. New microwave, so... It's, ah. Uh, uh, probably some muesli bars. Might have a few snacks while the chicken's heating up. Okay, all right. Yeah, okay. I thought you going to... I'm just trying to picture the plate here. A piece of chicken, two muesli bars. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, I'll scrounge around. I think there's some passion fruit in there from, from the vine. Some passion fruit. Um, look, I'll probably cook an egg, Tim, to be honest. Yeah, cook, okay. cook an egg on oh, toast. Yeah. One, it's a uh, a meal you can trust. I'll rummage around for some beans, hopefully. Okay. But uh, so um, breakfast for dinner. Uh, is there anything better? Uh, no, I don't think there is. Uh, it's the best. It is the best. This is when you should be eating eggs and bacon and stuff. It's, it gets it's you very sleepy. Probably better than doing it in the morning, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go empty stomach in the morning, Tim. Mm. Just a. Uh, uh, a shot of vigor and um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> two quarts of espresso. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, okay. is that's uh, that's what I'll be eating tonight. Okay, well that's just just a good little getting insight. to bro me, getting to bro you hmm. this week. Yeah, because you don't often come over and see me hard. hard I don't at see the you sun. ever do that. I no. never see you at the stove. Cook. Um, I've never seen you peering into a microwave to see <laughs> if you think you can see if it's cooked through the, uh, hey, look, through the door. I'll, I'll be I'll flip a I'll flip a, a sausage on a barbie or okay. the, or the oh, col- yeah, collar a barbie. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I have to do the meats. I'll do the meats. Smoked meats. But uh, when it gets into the salads and stuff, it's out of my league. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the cast does it way better anyway, so <laughs> So <it> starve <laughs> to death. Why would I do it? Yeah. Great. Wait till she comes home and feeds me. Yeah. Like a good wife. Well, that felt good, that episode. Sure did. Mm. Sean did. I almost can't wait for next week. Yeah. Um, when you'll hear Nurse Piggy say, I'm a woman first. Wrong. You're a pig first.